Hey guys, um, welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing a little tutorial, more more of a how-to. Uh, so, the general principle will be how to play on a roll. Okay, so, as you can see on screen, I have a on-screen controller. When I move it, it displays live. So, I'm hoping that that will help to kind of show how I'm playing on a roll and 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 how and 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 how to do some of the tricks and hopefully will help emphasize why the control system is the way that it is so it's not like skate it's not like the skate series in any sense you know it is a different way of using the controller to get the same sort of outcome so here's my skater looking pretty chilled right now uh, we've got some USD skates on so there's a marker system we'll start off with that simply first so in this version left trigger and the d-pad will set a marker so left trigger and down will set a marker left trigger and up will take me back to my marker every time no matter where I am it will take me back up to my marker left stick here is movement so when your skater is moving you use left stick to move him around makes sense A is push so if you want him to go you press A if you tap A he will skate a little bit faster you see it will kind of push off so if you want to drop into a ramp if you want to do a rolling um, any rollings, any ramps that are slightly angled, just rolling down them is enough. When you're on a quarter pipe like this, you can drop in. And in order to do that, you need to be holding the left stick forwards. That makes sense, doesn't it? You throw your body weight forwards, forwards you go. So if you hold A, he'll start skating. And then holding left stick forwards, he'll drop in. If you want to go over a spine ramp, hold forwards and he'll transfer over the spine ramp. If you don't hold forwards, he won't go over it. But if you do, he will. So holding forwards will drop you in. What else? Transitions. Pumping is just a, a, a game of practice. It's all about holding A. So if you press A at the right time, it'll pump up the ramp. Okay, so that's that done. If you want to spin in on a roll, left and right bumper are your spin modifiers. So when you press these, he spins. You can pre-wind, so you can wind up your spin before you jump. So the longer I hold this, the more he prepares to spin. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do a 1260 on the ground. So he does that. If you want to jump, that's on the right trigger. Here. You can spam it if you want to. Um, and he will keep jumping. The longer you hold it, the higher he'll jump. So if you want to do a 540, you're going to need a bigger jump. And you need a 540 rotation. Did you see that? So as I was spinning... I've held the jump button, and when it's got to the rotation that I want, I let go of both. You can pre-wind, as you can see, so I held it down for a little bit and then let go. Held it for a little bit, let go. Held it for a little bit, let go. And he will hold that rotation for a little while. So... That was insane. In honor roll, we have a replay editor. Um, I will be doing a separate tutorial to go through the replay editor properly, uh, which I have sort of done. If you check our channel, there'll be um, a video in our sort of catalog, uh, which talks in depth about how to use this replay editor. But today's video is not about that. Today's video is about the controller and how it works. So. 
to get a, a feel for it, I'm going to go down to the handrail here. And I'll show you how the grinds work. So, from this side of the rail, if I wanted to do a Macchio, which is right-footed from this side of the rail, if I was on this side of the rail and I wanted to do a Macchio, it would obviously switch foot and I'd be using my left stick because that's my left foot. Right stick is your right foot, left stick is your left foot. Following so far? So if I wanted to do a Macchio here on this rail, I just push the left stick up. Straight up will give me a Macchio. Oh, again if I switch rail, if I switch to the other side, and push just the right stick up, what do you reckon? Macchio. Obviously it's a switch Macchio because it's left footed in this game. But the principle remains, if you want to do a left footed soul grind, you need to use the left foot like a soul grind. So let's swap rail again, we'll swap to the other side. So to do a left footed soul on this grind, I'm going to need to do a Macchio, yes? But I'm missing one foot. So what do I do with the right foot? Well, you've got to kind of imagine it like you're rollerblading. So I, I like to think this is a way, the, a way of telling the game which way my toes are pointing, if that makes sense. So left foot up means my foot is pointing, and my toes on my left boot are pointing straight ahead. The same applies for the right foot. So if I wanted to do a sole grind on this rail, you got to think, right, well, naturally, that foot's going to be forwards, and the, my toes are going to be pointing which way? That way. Yeah? So if I do that now, soul grind. Easy. Now, what about an acid grind? Well, an acid grind is a soul, but the opposite way, isn't it? You point your toes, not that way, but that way. So let's try that. Acid soul. Easy. Now, what about a porn star? Which way do you... Point, they point this way down here. So, what do you reckon? If I did that, do you think it's going to do a pawn? Makes sense, doesn't it? Beautiful. Honestly, that's beautiful. So, what about a Mizzou? Now, a Mizzou is left foot up. And to do a Mizzou on this rail with my left foot, my right foot, the, my toes are going to be pointing that way. Naturally. They're going to be pointing that way naturally. So, put the stick that way. You see? So that's all of the basic grinds. We've got Saw, Acid, Mizzou, and the Pawn Star. I don't know if I can do them all in one go. Okay, so we've got all four grinds there. Now what, what, what you probably noticed was that I was able to move from one grind to another, to another, to another. Without doing anything but changing my feet on the grind. That's one of the perks for on a roll, is you can just switch up by moving your feet into the next position. So if I wanted to do like a pawn star to a pawn star to a pawn star to a pawn star, there's no messing about. I just choose my foot position. So if I wanted to, on this rail, I could do a pawn star to a top pawn to a pawn star to a top pawn by just doing the opposite pawn stars. The best way, I think the best way to explain that is with the Macchio and the fish brain. So if I just keep going up, straight up. Now if you notice with the controller, all I did then was switch up like this. No other buttons needed to be pressed. Because I'm not doing anything but using my feet. Now I need to balance on the rails. Now let's talk about balance. Balance is done with the D-pad here. So you've got manuals. And they're up and down and when you're on a grind if you use the d-pad here left and right it'll balance and you can physically see me throwing his weight and that works for every grind that you can do any grind you want the balance system works but I can also go from any grind into any grind Obviously, you saw a bit of an animation bug there. That's to be worked on, but... 
it's all about practice. You know, with this game, it's kids. You know, you just need to learn how to use the jump feature, how to use the spin feature. Now you've seen me switching up there, using the bumpers here, right and left. When you're switching grinds, will let the game know which way you want to spin. So I can do. So let's try alley soul. But then we'll do a top soul as well, and we'll just keep spinning the same way. So alley soul to top soul to alley soul. But I can go back the other way. by just selecting which way he spins with the spin modifiers. So the spin buttons, they're there for a reason. They work in the grinds. You can literally choose which way you want to spin. Just like you can in all aspects of this game, you can choose which way you go. You, you have all the say when it comes to your grinds. You know, what grind you want to do using the sticks how you want to spin into your switch ups it's great um, and using the balance feature along with that can lead to some interesting results so there's another new feature I want to talk about which is the crouch feature so when you're on a grind you kind of got to think, right, well, how, do, how would you crouch? How do you currently crouch in game? If I want to get low, I hold the jump button and it'll go a bit lower. If I do that when I'm on the grind, it'll crouch. And it'll sit really low on it. And I can do switch ups whilst also crouched. Um. Again, with honor roll, it's just practice. So there is also cess slides in the game. Um, there are negative grinds in the game. The savannas, unities. Um, all the negative grinds look amazing, but they're still being worked on. So they're actually currently disabled. But I've seen them. I've used them. I made a video with them once. Um, so I know that they're there, and I know what features are coming. And honest to God, I... I Stay tuned because this game is insane. But I want to talk about the negative grinds. Like, if you were to do a Machio on here, you would push the left stick up. But what if you wanted to do a negative Machio? From this side of the rail, it would be a right footed trick. So, how would you do the opposite of a negative Machio? You pull it down, yes. So the, the idea behind all the negative tricks is it's the same as a soul grind, like that. So my soul grind from the side of the rail would be up on the left stick because it's a Macchio. And then I'll push my right stick that way. For a negative soul, I'd obviously have to swap sides. But the same principle would apply. Instead of pushing my left stick up like that, I would just push down and that. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So your negative grinds are just the opposite. So instead of doing a right footed soul here, you'd end up doing a left footed soul because you'd have to pull the right stick down. But it'd be topside. But they're not currently in the game. Um, we have Savannah. Uh, we have front side, back side Savannahs. We have like true spin front sabs and stuff like that. Look amazing. The true spin back sab looks wicked. The 270 front sab looks insane. But this is not the kind of game that you can just come in and do whatever you want first try. It just doesn't work like that. Um, there are flips in the game. Now, the flip system in this game requires you to press a button. So, left trigger is your flip modifier. So you need to press this in order to do the flips. When you're skating, this controls your body. And this can these control your feet when you're grinding. When you're doing cess slides, the stick is your you know your control mechanism. When you're doing flips, it's the same. You use the right stick. Sometimes you need to use a combination of both sticks. 
and I'll explain some of those. The, the Misty Flip requires both sticks. Um, so we'll just we'll start things simple. We'll talk about the back flip. So the back flip, nice and simple. Left trigger, and pull down on the right stick. That will give you a back flip. If you want to do a front flip, left trigger and up on the right stick will give you, you guessed it, a front flip. If you want to do a flat spin, which is kind of like a sideways flip, I'll show you one of those. We did a flat spin five then. That's left trigger and right on the right stick. Or left, you know, in terms of which way you want to do it. Um, there are cork screws, which are off axis. So guess what? If you do it off axis, you're going to do a cork screw. Now, you can do cork screws both ways, but you have to kind of use both sticks to kind of decide which way you want to spin. There are grabs in the game. Now, the grabs have changed since the very first builds of this game. The first builds of the game required you to have a modifier pressed of some kind in order to do the grabs and things like that. That's no longer the case. When you're in the air, your grabs are done with the right stick most of the time. So you've got a grab. If you want to do a grab in the air, if you want to do like a safety grab, when you're in the air, just push the right stick to the right and you'll grab. Push the right stick to the left and you'll do another grab. There's a rocket grab. Guess what? Both sticks up will give you a rocket grab. I'll show you that. Rocket grab. Nice. If you want to do a Liu Kang grab. Um, and now a Liu Kang is where you would pull your left foot back and into you and your right foot forwards in the air. So if you do that in the air, he will do it. He will do a Liu Kang. But it only works one way. So if I did it that way, it won't work. But that way, it works. As you can see. So there's no button modifiers for the grabs anymore. It's just a case of knowing what to do. I'm hoping that sooner or later we'll be able to do grabs into grinds. Grabs out of grinds. Flips into grinds. Flips out of grinds. I can flip into a grind. But it's not the easiest of challenges right now. It's actually quite difficult to get it to look nice. But I mean that was work. That, that worked didn't it? That worked quite well. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, if you want to do a 180. That is also possible. You can spin. There are two types of spins in this game. You can either jump in the air and then press the spin button. And he will spin. I'll show you that. But that's uncontrollable. Like If you go in super high. It will just keep spinning. Broken. You can also steer, by the way, with the D pad. And the reason for that now is if I was to do a fake Imani, I want to be able to drive. I want to be able to steer the skater. And that gives me that option. Because I don't want to have to try and use the D-pad and the left analog stick as well. That just isn't going to work. Um, and it, I don't. And we're going to be doing another podcast soon. Um, hopefully, we're going to be able to talk with Yella about some of these features. So as soon as that's available, it'll be up online. And I'll post links and whatnot to it. Um, I may do a video. Um, to go alongside it, but we'll see. Um, in terms of the rest of the controls, there is not much else to worry about. Once you've figured out how it all works, you're laughing. I have the best experience playing this game because of the way the control system works. I think if the controls were different, if if the controls were based on the old Tony Hawk aggressive inline rolling system where it was a case of a combination of buttons you know up up y and then like left right b that that's not a rollerblading simulator for me like this is a rollerblading simulator having control over both of my feet
and having control over both of my feet independently as well, like being able to choose what kind of porn stars I do, how I do them. Like I could do full cab true porn here and then full cab r switch porn. Ah. Like I can choose to use my left and my right foot in grinds. Now I want to talk briefly about some of the other grinds. So there are one footed grinds in the game. Backslides. And that just requires the use of one stick. Um, you've got fast slides. So your fast slides are one stick as well, understandably. So you push it that way, you'll do a fast slide, that way you'll do a pud slide. Yeah? Same for the fast slide, you push it that way. Easy. To do a talk slide. Oh, that's the back slide, sorry. To do a talk slide. That way. Now you have to remember Sometimes it's complicated because he's a left footed skater. So for like the talk side and stuff, front side, it makes sense. But on this side, it doesn't quite make sense because you kind, of, you kind of have to... But once you... Well, I say it doesn't make sense. It does. It makes perfect sense because to do a backslide, it's... It's always the same way. You always push the stick the same way, but depending on how you approach the rail will depend on, you know, your angle. So you've got like farves. If you want to do a farve, guess what? Both sticks that way. If you put both sticks to the right, you'll do his farve and Ugans. If you want to do a royale, both sticks that way, we'll do a royale. If we want to do a kind grind, all you got to think is well. Which way's top side, which way's not. <coughs> like on here I can do Mizzou and Kine Grind. Just by knowing which foot I need to use. So again, it's, when it comes to one roll, it takes a little bit of time, it takes a little bit of practice. But only to get used to the controls. One thing I do see regularly is people talking about clunky animations and it being a killer for them and things like that. But I don't notice clunky animations and only because I play it regularly. Um, so I know how to get past some of the uh, <coughs> some of the triggers for people. But now that's another one. So in we have Mizzou, which is from here left foot up that way. There's also Misfits. It's the same, but instead of pushing my foot to the right, I just pull it down a little bit like that, and it will give me a misfit. Or a misreal, it's misfit backwards, isn't it? Yeah, misfit backwards. You've also got the same for soils and souls, or a torque soul. Um, so it's, the soul grind is like that. To do a torque soul, you just kind of need to push it directly to the left. Now you can do some stupid stuff as well, like you can hold that pretty wine button. 900 true miss. Boom. To do an X grind, as you just saw, sticks both up is two souls, isn't it? Two soul plate grinds is an X grind. Makes perfect sense. So that's that's how to play on a roll. Um, I know that it might seem daunting at first. There's a lot of buttons. If you're struggling, there's a tutorial here that will walk you through everything. And it's very easy to understand and makes a lot of sense. If you just read what it says, it talks about the controls and how they work. If there's a grind you want to do and you can't figure it out, this one. 
grinds. We'll go in there and I'll show you very briefly before we finish this video up. Um, now, here on the left are all the different grinds that you can do. And you'll see it's this combination. And it shows you where the tricks need to be. So, the reason it's for a switch so is because it's right footed. So, everything in this game is done left footed first. So far. Currently, everyone's a left footed skater. And, and I think the reason for that is so that it makes sense in terms of switch and natural. Um, but it shows you, if you look at the skater, he's using his left foot, he's pushed his left stick up. Same for the right foot, Macchio, it's just his right stick. You've got cab drivers, I'll show you the cab driver, I'm not sure where that is. I sometimes get stuck in this menu, it's not currently going through it there we go so there's your cab driver as you can see both sticks out gives you a cab driver so if there's anything else you wanna know if there's anything else you think I've not covered uh, again just leave a little comment um, I'm on here regularly, I'll I'll see them and reply, and if there's anything that I need to cover again, we can always do another video. Um, thanks for watching, and stay tuned, we have a podcast coming up to talk about how things are, talk about where we are, talk about, uh, probably talk a little bit about console, and um, where we are with that, and about the next update for PC, and the environment update, the big environment update. Um, that we're all waiting for uh, so again stay tuned subscribe to see our content as and when we post it and one love guys thank you very much for tuning in see you soon